before, let's just, you know, uh, choose a date, 650, uh, yeah. when the Uthmanic Codex was established. Of course, because the companions were, pray were I mean, okay, of course, he was praying and leading other people in prayers according to his own Mus'haf, mm -hmm. right? According to his own codex. Okay. okay. Uh, and Ibn Mas'ud, I mean, the reading of Ibn Mas'ud was still used in Kufa 200 years after Uthman's codex. People were still praying in Kufa according to the codex of Ibn Mas'ud, not to Uthman. Right. And that's that's what the sources tell us. Okay. Uh, and there's the interesting story of Al-Hajjaj, people, most people know about it, is that uh, because Ibn Mas'ud's reading was very popular, and his Mus'haf, his codex was very popular in Kufa, um, he said, I'm going to erase uh, any copy of Ibn Mas'ud's uh, codex that I will find, I'm going to erase it with a, with a pig's shoulder. Right, so the ultimate way of desecrating a Quran Definitely. is they use a big folder to to erase it or to efface the text. So the point is that the the companions they were using codices and they were codices before uh, Uthman's, and of course people were using them in prayer uh, even after Uthman. Mm -hmm. uh, the point is what the Muslim scholars um, agreed upon. Uh, and the consensus that they established, what is the Qur'an and what is not the Qur'an. And it took time to establish this consensus that we are only going to adhere to the Uthmanic codices. And yes, we there, there was a codex, a mushaf by Ubay, by Ali, by other companions, by Ibn Abbas, by Aisha, the, the codices are there. They are recorded in the sources, so they are not a myth. But all these... And Bakalani put it nicely in his in his um, uh, argument against against that in in Tisar al Quran is that all these codices are abrogated, and we now the ijma the consensus of the Muslim community or Muslim scholars uh, is to use only the regional codices the Osmanic codices.